Hi, my name is Mark Brown. I live in Watertown, South Dakota. And uh, for the next few video series here, I'm going to be talking about a very important subject matter uh, that I'm very passionate about. And um, I've been pastoring for 14 years, and it's been a very common theme or issue I've had to address here in South Dakota. And then in the past six years, I've been pretty extensively involved and traveling across the country and ministering at youth events. And I've discovered it's a very common and very serious situation uh, that we are facing, and that is pornography. And uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit today, not so much about how to deal with it, but the understanding that there is life after porn. I. Um, I was exposed to pornography at a young age, uh, a little over 23 years ago was the first time I was exposed to it, and that spiraled into uh, over 10 years of absolute misery, of being bound and being addicted, and uh, the shame that would come over me, the hopelessness that there's no way out of this, there's, there's nothing I could ever amount to, no matter how hard I try. I would do good for a few weeks or I would do good for even a few months. But then, you know, it hit me back, you know, real hard and I'd fall into a deeper, darker state. And I just want to address a couple things. You know, one, the lie that you're the only one going through it. Paul told the Corinth church that there is no temptation but such as is common to man. The devil would like you to think that you're the only one facing it. But the reality, it's more common than you can realize. And depending on what uh, resource you're reading, anywhere from 80% to 90% of people have been exposed to pornography by the age of 12. And, uh, and even more than half are still struggling with that. And then the other lie is that there's just no hope. You know, there's no way you're going to be able to get out of it. In that same scripture, he goes on to say, but with every temptation, God makes a way of escape and I stand in front of you or sit in front of you I guess uh, as a living testimony that I was totally bound by this I was hopeless but the truth is I wasn't hopeless God delivered me God set me free and he who the Son sets free is free indeed and there's a story in the Bible and it's with Moses and Moses is up in the mountain and this mountain is on fire engulfed with smoke and God is speaking audibly and it's it's there where Moses is talking to God about the commandments and the laws and then God shifts and starts talking about his brother Aaron and he says your brother Aaron is special your brother Aaron he's got a call on his life unlike anybody he's going to be a high priest and he's going to dress differently he's going to look differently he's going to be involved with things people could only imagine being involved in. And it's an amazing thing, a very inspirational thing to, for a brother to hear this about his brother, that great things are going to happen. And while that's going on, at the base of the mountain, there's Aaron. And Aaron makes a golden calf, and he tells the people, Behold your God that brought you out of Egypt. And all these people begin to strip naked. And there is full-fledged pornography. There's nudity. There's vileness and activities and debauchery going on. And it's all by the work in the hands of Aaron. And these people are engaging in illicit activities. And this is all happening right under the very presence of God. It'd be like going through this while still going to church, still committing this. And here he is right at the base of the mountain. But the amazing thing is God, while Aaron is sinning, up in that mountain, in that glory cloud, God is preparing plans for his life. The New Testament says like this in Romans 5, 8, But while we were yet sinners, God commendeth his love towards us. While we were yet sinners, God did that. Even though we were wicked and we were vile, Jesus Christ still died for us. While you were sinning, Jesus Christ still decided to die on that cross. And so God is not finished with you. God is not through with you, though you feel like there's no hope. 
The Bible says in the book of Romans 11, in chapter, uh, chapter 11, verse 29, it says that the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. And I sit in front of you here today to try to encourage you or encourage somebody you know that's going through something that you're looking at somebody that was bound, that was addicted, that went through miserable hell. But I defeated that lie by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and, and the love of people to pull me out of that pit and that despair and that addiction. And I am able today to be a minister of the gospel and to be able to fulfill the call that God has for my life. While I was sinning, God was preparing. And I want to encourage you over these next few weeks when we start talking a little deeper about pornography, you know, that it's not a mean spirit I have. It's not an angry spirit I have. It's something I'm very passionate about because God pulled me out of it and God's going to pull you out of it. I'm looking forward to these next few weeks, these next few videos, and believing that God's going to help you. In Jesus' name.